Hello, my name is Marcus Ali and I'm director of the AAO at Macquarie University and I'd like to welcome you to this short presentation in which I will reintroduce our instrumentation consortium under its new name of Australis. I'm doing this on behalf of the other node directors, Francois Rigaud at the ANU AITC and Julia Bryant at the University of Sydney. Um, as you may be aware, there was a new teaming up of Australian instrumentation teams uh, in astronomy uh, in July 2018 um, between the four groups that you see on the slide there. The idea being that we were trying to build a consortium with the size and skills necessary to build the new generation of infrared and optical instrumentation uh, for eight meter and larger observatories. The name adopted then was AAO Consortium. However, to cut a long story short, um, confusion remained in the community over that AAO name. So to resolve this, we have now adopted a new name of Astralis. So you should be seeing this from now on, on all in all contexts um, involving the consortium. But enough about the name, let's move on. The consortium has uh, over 100 uh, engineers and scientists spread across the three nodes. And one thing we've been trying to do over the last three years is uh, pay a lot of attention to coordinating our processes and ways of working, documentation, etc., so that we can mesh together and work together as smoothly as possible. Uh, the area we've really been focusing on is where our traditional strength is, and that's in the area of optical infrared instrumentation uh, for astronomy. Um, but that covers really every area in, in optical infrared instrumentation, from optics through to uh, detectors, uh, software, uh, hardware, computers, etc. Uh, the Australis Consortium currently has an almost uh, exclusive, or certainly a very strong focus on our partnerships with ESO and GMT, and this follows directly from the uh, Astronomy Decadal Plan and the emphasis placed on these associations by AAL, our funding agency. Very importantly, however, income from these is uh, not sufficient to maintain the Australis nodes at their current size. So we're actively seeking out all the time other opportunities, um, such as building instruments for other observatories uh, or even uh, developing adjacent areas of expertise in fields such as space or remote sensing. Uh, and one thing that's very important to remember is that the optical IR instrument development uh, for major observatories such as ESO results in the return of guaranteed time for the Australian astronomical community uh, and also supports our membership of the organisation, in our case ESO, um, and advances high technology initiatives in Australia, an area that's very important for us to pay attention to. You can see here uh, a list of current active projects and potential future projects um, for ESO and GMT. Most are for ESO, uh, and you'll recognize there our flagship project Mavis, um, the AO-fed visible uh, imager and spectrograph, uh, which is actually led by Australia. You might recognize ESOP, our fiber positioner that we've built for the foremost uh, survey facility, uh, various projects for GMT as well. And we hope that all of these will be uh, just the beginning and that there'll be many more to come in the future. Unfortunately, my time is just about up. I can't cover very much more. So all I can say is thank you for watching.